Hey, what's up everybody? This is going to be a tutorial on making Finn from uh, the cartoon Adventure Time. And I'm going to try and make it be a model that has a 3D uh, full body turn, uh, 360 degree turn. And I think it'll be pretty easy because he's a pretty simple character. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the first part. We'll just construct the body. And I'm actually going to take a picture of him um, that I found online and I'm just going to use it as reference and place it on my canvas just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an arm and I'm actually going to create his limbs with just strokes just because um, all of the Adventure Time characters have bendy arms and they don't really have sharp angles to their joints. So I'm going to draw a line. Actually, let me go back and walk through it. I'm going to hit A to add points and I'll go ahead and drag, left click and drag, and left click and drag, just so I have two um, aligned with one point in the center. I'll hit U, and then I'm going to select the line, and I'll go ahead and hit the space bar. And that's just going to create the black line. And I'm going to hit T, and select all, of, all three of those points, and then I'll hit W, and then I'm just going to make the stroke really wide. Uh, about the width of his arm right there and then what I'm gonna do is do a command C which is copy and then command V to paste and that's just gonna place another line on top of the black line I'll hit Q and you can't see it but let me let me hit T and move it over it's actually when I hit Q and select the the, um, the black line you can see it's checkered uh, I just couldn't see it because I had it overlaying the other one and then what I'm going to do is uh, select the stroke fill and then select his skin color from uh, this JPEG that I got here. I'll drag it back over the top of the black line. I'm going to hit W. That's going to change the width and I'm just going to shrink it down. So now if I click, you can see it looks like that I have um, an arm right here and it's just basically two strokes on top of each other. So I'll go ahead and uh, name this left arm Oops. left arm and then I'll go ahead and start by creating a bone layer so we can start throwing things in there I'll double click that and rename it fin and make sure the left arm is in the bone layer and selecting the bone layer I'll hit A so now I'm gonna add bones and I'm just gonna click here and here and let me click on the arm just to make sure there's the points actually right here so I'm gonna hit G and select that point I just hit G and left click drag over that point and now I'm just dragging it up to that joint and now um, we're gonna use point binding or that's what I'm gonna use uh, right now it has strength turned on but I don't want to use uh, the bone strength. I want to use point binding. So I'm actually going to hit B and select both of these bones. And on the bone layer, just take the strength down all the way on them. And then I'm going to hit B, select the top bone, and then the arm. And I'm just going to grab that top point. So you can see that the point is selected and the bone and I'll hit bind points, bind points. Then I'll hit B, select the bottom bone and then hit G and select those two points and bind those points. So if I hit Z and test it out, you can see it, it's turning, but I want it to have a more curved bendy look to it. So let's go ahead and hit G, select that middle point which is actually two because there's two strokes. Then I'm gonna hit C and left click and drag to the right. And you can't see it, but it's actually curving that point. So if I do a Z and bend it now, you can see it's got a nice uh, noodle, noodle effect on the arm. So we have that right there. Um, let's make it a little shorter though. So I'm gonna hit G, grab those bottom points move them both up maybe I'll move this up one two the joint or the elbow and then hit a T and grab the bones and move those up as well so we got that 
And then let's make the top of the arm really quick. Go back to frame zero. I'll hit S. Um, actually select the arm layer and then hit S. Um, I want a few more squares on my grid, so I'm gonna do a uh, shift command G and I'm gonna type in 10 and hit OK. And that just gives me more squares to work with. And this is now I'm gonna draw a sleeve. I'm just gonna draw over, or let's hit select this uh, rectangle. And we'll draw a square just over the shoulder because we're gonna make the sleeve real quick. Then I'll hit Q and select the uh, fill color. I'll left click and drag and select that shirt color. And then I can just hold shift down and select black for the outline. So this is an actual shape. I'll hit A, add another point, hit C, curve this out so we get a sleeve shape. And then I'll go ahead and hit T and select the sleeve. And I'm gonna dr drag this middle center point. If you drag it by itself, it only um, moves this one side, but if you hold option down, you can see it'll shrink the other side too, uh, uniformly. So I'll go ahead and shrink this down so it looks like a sleeve. I'll hit W and left click and drag to the left because I want that stroke to look the same as the uh, arm. And then, let me see where that's at. Let's move it down a little bit. Oops. Hit T. When you're moving objects too, um, get if you get close to a point and then drag it, it should snap to the grid. So I want it to snap right there. And then I'm just going to hit G, hold shift down to select the other point, and then T to transform. So I'm just... Uh, Oops, I'm gonna turn the grid off so it doesn't snap. You see how I'm pulling it up and it's trying to snap to one of the points? If you hit G, turn that off, and then I'm just holding shift down so I can pull it up higher. And just make it right about there. And I'm gonna hit B to select the bone, and then G and hold shift down to select the top sleeve because I want to bind that to the bone as well. So I'll hit bind, bind, and then I'll hit Z to try it out. That works pretty good. You can see there's a little bit, the arm, because this is a shape and these are two strokes, it's not always centered, but that's it's still okay. We'll just leave it like that and fix it later. So there's one arm um, and we can adjust, we'll adjust it for the fingers and the hands and stuff later, but I'm gonna hit left arm. I'll hit duplicate, call it right arm. I'll turn the grid back on, Command G. Command A to select all. And hit T and move it over because this is the other arm. I'll select the bone layer and hit A to add new bones. And we'll just repeat that process again. I'll put a bone here, drag it down to here, like that. And hit B and select both of these bones. Turn the bone strength down all the way. Left click and drag to the left. Then I'll select right arm again. Hit B. I'm going to do the top part, so I'll just hit G and select all of these points at the top. And that'll grab even the stroke up here. And bind points. Hit B. Select the bottom bone. And then left click and drag over. Oops. Hit G, left click and drag, and make sure you get the middle points, the elbow points, and then the bottom of the hand there and bind those. So now we have two arms, but you can see something's wrong. And uh, what I did was I, asked, I forgot to unparent this bone. So if I go back to frame zero and hit the bone layer and then hit the parenting bone or hit P, you can see this top bone is actually linked to this one and we don't want that. So we're gonna hit B, select that bone so it's red, then hit P again and it shows parenting and we'll just click off onto the canvas somewhere and that just breaks those apart. So now if I hit Z and test them, this arm moves by itself and this arm moves by itself. 
And then let's go ahead and make the legs. I'm just going to copy one of the uh, arms again. So I'll choose right arm, hit duplicate. I'll call this left leg. And I'll hit Command A just to select everything. And hit T and move it out of the way. Put his legs down here. And then I'm going to hit Q. I'll select that blue color and then change that fill by left clicking on the eyedrop, grabbing the color from the shorts, and making that blue. And then his shorts are going to be a little longer, so let's go ahead and I'll hit T. I'm going to grab these points and just make them drag it down here. And again, we'll, we'll fix it a little later. And let's go ahead and make his socks. So I will, um, let's do a shape. So I just hit S and now I'm just drawing a square. I'll hit Q, select the uh, shape itself and select white for the sock color. And it's already black for the outline. I'll select it and hit W and make the stroke a little smaller. And let me turn the grid off. Command G. Let's just move these points real quick. I'll just move them right here. And let's curve these out. So I'll hit C. Curve this out, curve this out, and curve this one. And how does. Okay, they look kind of like donuts. So I'll just grab this point curve that and I think let's just add a couple more points so I hit a and I just clicked on the line just drag them up here that looks pretty good get those kind of in position so now we have a sock and I think I'm just going to use a stroke for his foot too, just because it's just, it's going to be a lot easier. So let me hit A. I'm going to add another point to the end of his leg. One here. Actually, let me turn on the grid. Command G. One down and then one over. And I'll hit U and select. Uh, wait, I don't want to select the whole thing. Do this. One, two. I'll hit U, and I'm selecting this bottom point, and then holding Shift down and selecting the other two, and hitting Spacebar. That turns it black. And then I'll hit uh, W, and just do that. I think that will be good. I don't know. We'll see if this works. Let's move the sock back into place. Um, I'll hit Q, select it, and then hit the up arrow so it's on top. Hit G, Command G, hide it. Let's put his sock right there. And I'm hitting T, <laughs> trying to. Hit T, move that over. So we just got. Uh, his foot, I'll make the heel a little thicker. W. I think that's good though. Let's put uh, bones on this leg to see how well that moves. So I'll hit uh, or select the bone layer and uh, turn the grid back on. Command G. And left leg. Oh, Command A. So the main line isn't on any of the grid, so I'm just going to move it so it snaps. It's right there so we have a easier time with uh, laying the bone down let's move the knee down too. hit G grab it move it down go to the bone layer we'll add some bones one here one here let's go all the way down to the ankle and then just one right over the foot 
and then I will hit B, select all of those bones, hit the bone strength tool and drag that all the way to the left so there's no strength on them because we're point binding. I'll do left leg and hit B, select the upper leg, hit G, and select the top of the pants. And while holding shift down, I'll drag over and make sure I get this top point here also. And hit bind points, bind points. I'll hit B, select the lower leg, hit G, grab that knee point. Um, I'll grab, uh, hold shift down, drag over the sock to make sure I get all that and this point. And we'll even grab the uh, holding shift down, left click and drag over that um, ankle point. So we get all of those. Hit bind points, and then we'll do B, select this, and we'll just bind just this one last point, his toes, to this uh, last one right there. So let's hit Z and see how that looks. So that controls his entire foot, and we can turn it. And since we already curved it out from the arm that we created it from, um, the leg bends already really good. But I did the same thing. I accidentally have it parented to uh, the arm. So I'll hit P. Oops. B. I'm sorry. Select that. Hit P to parent. Let's go back. It's the bone layer. P. So you can see this one's connected to the arm and we don't want that. So it's highlighted. I'll just click off on the canvas and you can see now that this leg's separated by itself, this arm's separated. Now we're ready to go. And again, we can just copy the leg. I'll select it, duplicate, call this right leg. Hit return. And I'll select all, Command A, Command T. Move it over a little bit. Um, select the bone layer. Oops. Let's make sure that the center line is snapped to something. See how it didn't snap right there? So I'll hit T and make sure that it snaps. So our bones line up. Then I'll hit the bone layer. Add bones, hit A. We'll draw them the same length as the other, or other leg. Down to here, and one out to the side. B, select all of the bones, turn the bone strength down just like the other leg. Select the right leg, which we're working on. I hit B, select the top, uh, top leg, G, and we can just left click and drag over it too. So we get that point and all of the pants, bind points. B, select the bottom leg, um, here, and also there's an um, sometimes we, if you're binding a lot of different things, so you know you're going to bind that foot, just be so you don't have to miss any of the points. I'll select this point here, or this bone, hit G, and I'll select all of them, including the, uh, the um, toes. So I bind that, and that controls the leg already, and you can see that's not connected yet, but um, it's really easy to override it. So once we have the toe bone selected and G and selected, then we can just hit bind points. And now that, oops. And now it's controlling the toes. And again, this character is really simple. So it's really nice because we can use this to uh, make a foot turn with just a stroke. Um, we can have it, uh, his foot go here and we can actually shrink it to, to look like foreshortening. And let's see, let's move the points to the right place. I just noticed that the knee joints are off a little bit. Right leg, G, hit Z. I'm just testing them out. And again, we can fix this later, but you can see his pant leg is, it doesn't always stay centered because we have a shape here and using strokes for the legs. All right, so now we have all of his limbs. Let's go ahead and make his torso, which is should be pretty easy. Um, 
I'm gonna turn all these off for a second. Actually, let's move them out of the way. I'm gonna grab these bones and then grab the arms and move them into place. Command A, select all, just snapping it back into place, just so they're out of the way. Command A, move these over here and left leg, just move this. I just want to be able to kind of put his body in the center. We'll reassemble him. Oh, got these mixed up. And let's move this back over here. I just wanted some space right there. So we'll create a new vector layer and we'll call this body. And I'm just going to uncheck auto fill and auto stroke and just draw a square to get started. Uh, hit A, and this is going to be where his uh, shorts separate. I'll put a point in the middle and then across, and it's auto welding, so it snapped, and you could hear that click. We'll do the same for his um, hood, for the, or the top of his head. I'll add a couple points to the top here. Um, I'll hit S for shape, and I'll go ahead and put an oval here for his face. And let's add some more points to his pants just to get started. And then we'll go ahead and start filling the colors. So I'm going to hit U. And since I want to make the hood white, um, what you can actually do is when you hit U and you drag over both these shapes, the head and the circle, it's going to punch out that uh, center. So it's ready to go. I'll hit uh, spacebar. Turns that white. I'm going to do a command A. Or actually, let's wait till all of those are filled in. Um, let's hit U and select the uh, face area. I'll left click and drag on the fill. Hit space so it's the right color. I'll hit U and drag over the body or his shirt area. Left click and drag on the fill. Grab that shirt color from one of these sleeves. Hit space bar. Now that's filled and then Grab his shorts and do the same for his shorts. Grab that color and hit spacebar. Then I'm going to hit Command A so it selects everything. And I'll hit W and I'm just going to shrink his uh, strokes all down. Uh, so they're about the same as the arms and legs. And hit T. And then I'm going to turn the grid off, Command G. And we'll go ahead and uh, move some points around. So I hit T to move it, C to curve. So I got that nice curve there. Um, same with the shirt, I'll just grab it, hitting T. Hit C to curve. And his uh, hood is actually, or his hat, or whatever you want to call it, is kind of square almost. So I'm going to hit A and add a couple more points right here, and then just curve them out. Because it's kind of his head shape is kind of a rounded rectangle. I'll hit T just so I can click on that oh, his face, and we can just make that a little bit bigger. And then I'm also going to make the ears on his um, hood or hat or whatever um, separate. So when we're turning him, um, we can animate that turn really easy. Let me drop the body into the bone layer too. So let's make a new vector, call it left ear. And I'll just uh, let's grab a circle, make the uh, fill white, and I'll just, oh, let's turn on auto stroke and auto fill. And I'm gonna change the width right here just so I don't have to keep changing the uh, stroke to two. That looks about right. So I'll grab that and make his ear. And let's hit C. I'm going to uncurve the left and right points. So they're sharp. And then hit C and curve out the top a little more. And I'll drag this up like that. 
and I'm gonna use the hide um, hide edges. So I'll click that and I'll hide those, the bottom two edges. So we have one ear and then we can move this around. So I'll put that like that. And with the left ear selected, I'll go ahead and duplicate it, call it right ear. Return. I'll go ahead and select it and I'll flip it using the uh, horizontal flip and just drag it over here for his right ear. And we'll probably make, oops, let's add some more points to his body. Just, I wanna curve this around. So I'm adding points to the bottom just because when we turn his body, we want to be able to um, have a few more points to work with. But we kind of want to make it a rounded rank rectangle just like his uh, the top of his head. Kind of looks like a candy bar or something. And maybe one more point in the center. It's better to have um, in more than enough points than too little. Okay. So now, I'm just gonna put a face on his, um, just in that face area. We'll probably end up making a different face uh, layer, but just for now, so you guys can see it. Under the body, I'll hit S, and it's already got that shape selected. Just use black. I'm gonna take the stroke off too, so it's just a fill. I'll just drag a little rectangle on, or, not a rectangle, <laughs> oval, uh, there, copy and paste, command C, command V, copy and paste his eyes, and then I'll hit A just to add a couple points, hit U, select that, and then we got a little mouth, and I'm hitting C to curve that out, and then we can use W to uh, bring the corners of the mouth down too. And I select G, hit T, holding shift down, grabbing all those. Now we got his face, um, which should be pretty easy to animate too. We're going to need to use masking. Um, then let's go ahead and put him back together a little bit. Actually, let's put uh, bones in his um, body. So we'll click on the uh, bone layer. We'll create a waist bone. I'll hit A actually B, and so we don't have this parented. Let's go ahead and make sure no bones are selected, then hit A. We'll drag a bone here for his waist, and we do want to connect the next one so we don't need to click off. We'll just drag one here. And let's make two for his chest, and then I'm gonna draw one more for his head. And this might change too, but for now, we'll hit B. Now I'm going to select all of those, turn the bone strength down, left click and drag to the left, hit B, select the um, waist bone, and select body, I hit G, and I'm gonna drag over all of the uh, bottom part of his shorts, and hit bind, bind, and then Hmm, we should add more points to his body so he, he can actually bend over. So I'll hit A and add some points here to the center of his torso. Maybe two. Let's see how that looks. So I, if you can, oops, let me highlight these. So you can see I added uh, four points here. I'm going to hit uh, B and select this bottom torso bone and just select the bottom two. Hit bind points. Hit B and grab these points, the top ones, and bind those. Then I'll hit uh, B, select this top head bone, hit G, and I'm just going to drag over the entire head so it makes sure we grab everything there and bind points. Then I'm also going to select the right ear, and that bone's still selected, so we can just hit bind points and left ear, command A, just to make sure we have all those points selected and bind those points as well. So I'll hit Z and test it out. So that grabs the top of his head. This bone controls the upper torso and the bottom torso. 
and then the bottom bone is his waist. All right. So now let's connect everything. Oops. Select all these bones. I think there was still some uh, bone strength in those. So we're going to turn that all the way down. And I'm just going to put him back together really quick. So with the bone layer selected, I'll select his uh, hit B, then T. Now I'm just moving the bone over to uh, his body. Command G to turn that grid back on. Let's go ahead and snap it right there. And we'll move this leg too. And then grab the legs, right leg, Command A, grab all of those. Move that into place. And you can see that point snapped right to where that bone is. And where is it left? Where's left leg? Right there. Command A, select all. And select near that point, so it grabs that point, and then we'll just snap it there. And hit Z. Make sure those are still moving, right? That's good. Go back to the bone layer. We'll hit T. Make sure you grab this point at the top so it's moving that the bone and you're not like transforming it or doing anything like that. Grab that. We'll snap it right there. And grab this arm right there. And then select the arms. Command A, select those, snap that into place, and left arm, same thing, just snap that into place, and I'm hitting Z, making sure those move correctly, but his body is not connected to his arms and whatnot, so we need to, I'll select this upper torso bone, hit B, and see I have that selected, or actually, I'm sorry, Hit B and select the arm bone, the upper arm bone, and hit P. So we want to parent with the bone layer selected. See how I, I had the uh, artwork selected, not the bone. So we need to go to the bone layer, hit B, select the upper arm bone, hit P, and then click on that upper torso. And you see how this bone's now connected to the uh, upper torso? Do the same thing, hit B. Select this upper arm and P, and then we'll parent that to the upper torso as well. And then hit B, select the upper leg, P to parent, and we'll parent it to the hip bone that we created. And then same thing with the other leg, B, select, P, waist. So now everything should be connected. So if I move his legs, He's actually one character, so if I, let's go in the timeline real quick. If I grab that hip bone, it should grab everything, so. Okay. He's fully rigged. Still have problems with the uh, torso. Um, that's not bending right. We want it to, uh, let's do this instead. Let's bind. Mm, body. Instead of the his pants, bottom pants being bound to uh, the waist bone. Let's bind it to this lower torso and see how that looks. Bind that. Now I'll hit Z. Okay, now I messed something up. B, body. Oh, I need to grab these bottom points here, I think, too. Bind, hit Z. Okay. Yeah, but now, because I did want his waist to bend like that, but I, let's bind the legs to that, this torso bone as well. So let's go to B, bone layer, B, let's hit P and bind them here, and... Hmm. I think that's actually better because at least the uh, body is staying with them. So let's see here. I'm going to do a command G. Let's unbind. So here we have, I think, the basic uh, build 
of fin. Um, of course, we have to do a lot of adjusting, and we'll do that in the next video, but we have them all bound. Let me do a quick walk cycle, uh, see how he looks. And what I really like, too, is that the feet can just turn with just one bone. You don't have to do a whole lot of animating. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. So I'll put him in a position. Oh, let's move his left arm to the front. And right arm is in back. I hit Z. That. Command A. Command F, freeze all frames, go to frame 12, hit Z and, oh, I need to put his leg, left leg in front too. So left leg, put it over the body. And let's go ahead, while we're doing this, go ahead and hide the edges of the top of the leg, like that. Let's go back to the timeline. So we got him like that. Command A, Command F to freeze frames. I'll copy and paste the first frames. Copy, Command C, go to 24, paste. And go to frame six. And this leg was going forward first, so I'll hit Z and bend it a little bit, bend his arm a little bit. 18, go to frame 18, I'll bend this arm, or this leg and this arm a little bit. Oh, wait, what? I think I had those in the wrong position. Let me do that again. Erase everything. Frame one. Arm forward, leg back. Arm back, leg forward. Command A, Command F to freeze everything. Hit Z. Move these like this. A, Command F, copy and paste, copy the first frames, go to frame 24, paste those, and go to frame 6, hit Z, bend this leg, this arm, go to 18, do the same for this leg and this arm, and frame 12, let me move his torso just a little bit. Select the last frames, cycle, relative to playback, 22, so he doesn't stutter. Oops. 22. <laughs> His legs are so far apart. It looks kind of weird because I don't have the proportions right or anything. Um, let's make him bounce a little bit, too, while we're doing it. Select frame one. Then I'll go to frame six. Move him down just a little tiny bit. Copy and paste the layer positions. Delete that last one. And cycle this. Oops. Cycle to frame 22. This is just a little bounce for the walk cycle. Okay, not bad. Um, obviously his legs are a little too long, but um, in the next video, we'll uh, fix all of his proportions and start making his hands and things like that, and start making the uh, body turn as well, so he can be animated in any position. But I think this will be a lot easier for people who want to know how to do uh, th uh, 360 degree turns. Um, hopefully I can do it. But uh, this is the first part. Um, if you guys like the video, let me know. Uh, give it a thumbs up, a like. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time.